Hi, Assalamualaikum guys. We meet again for the next uh, lab session. So today I would like to introduce a new uh, application, Microsoft application, which is Microsoft Excel. So this, uh, this software is the last software that uh, you will learn in lab session. So uh, today I would like to introduce you how to use the Microsoft Excel. Okay, this is the symbol of the Microsoft Excel. So, uh, introduction. So, as you know, Microsoft Office Excel is an advanced computer-based spreadsheet. So, Excel, we call it as the spreadsheet. What does it mean about the spreadsheet? Which is used to store data in column, in column and row, which can uh, then be organized and all processed. So, uh, we want to store our data in, uh, in the format of the row and columns. And then in the spreadsheet, we can process it, we can do a ca some calculation, we can analyze our data and so on. So later, I will show you how we can input the data inside the Excel and how we process all the data using the arithmetic app, uh, arithmetic calculation. Okay, spreadsheet is simply a sheet that contains many columns and rows. Okay, guys. So, uh, for today, we have two parts. So, part one, I would like to uh, teach you how to open a new blank sheet. Okay, uh, or we call it as a uh, new uh, workbook. Okay, and then how we want to save our file in Excel. So, next, uh, I will uh, teach you how to copy, cut and paste. Which is, uh, if you have the sample, your sample in the... Words file and then from the words file you want to copy and paste in the Excel. So how did we do that? So later I will show you. Don't worry. And next is how we format. Okay, format our cells, text uh, alignment, word wrap, merge and center inside the inside the uh, Excel. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So this is my desktop. So now I want to show you how to find your uh, Excel uh, application in your laptop. So as usual guys, uh, you can search it in here. Okay, you just type Excel. Okay, if you install the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Excel in your uh, system software, so the system software can find it for you. So this is uh, the result from my, uh, for my search tree. So just click it. Okay, so this is how the first page that the Excel will um, will show to you. Okay, so please uh, choose the blank uh, workbook. Okay, click here. Okay, so this is how the interface for the Microsoft Excel. So this is all the the menu, or we call it as the ribbon, same as with the. Uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft uh, Word. Okay, so this is we call it as a ribbon. In here we have the file. So file when we click the file, uh, we can save, uh, we can print, and so on. So if we go back, we see the ribbon of the home. So in the ribbon of, of home, you have the variety of the menu here. So this is for the font, uh, this is for the font size and so on. So same as with the Microsoft Word. So next ribbon, you have the insert. So maybe you want to insert the picture and uh, you want to um, do the graph. So this is all under the ribbon of the inserts. So draw, okay, if you want to draw something in here, if you have the uh, stylus pen, you can draw in here. If you don't have it, so just forget it, okay? So next is the page layout. As usual, when we talk about the page layout, we want to uh, set in the margin. We want to set the orientation, whether you want to portrait or landscape and so on. So this is all the menu under the page layout. So we have the formula because when we uh, when we want to process our data inside the uh, Microsoft Excel, Okay, you need use all kind of the formula, arithmetic formula. When we talk about the arithmetic formula, it's all about the mathematical calculation. Okay, so data and review, view, okay, and so on. 
Okay, so this kalau you nampak the box, this box, okay in in SL we call it each box here we call it as the cell, C E L L cell. Okay, remember cell. Okay, uh, so if you see this view, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So this is very, very uh, what complicated for us to read our data. Usually, when you open the Excel at the column level, it will show you A, B, C. So if you Excel in this format, we change it into A, B, C. So how did you change it into the new format for the uh, column level? So very easy, guys. So you go to file, okay, and then you find the option. Okay, you find the option, you click option, and you find the formula. Okay, you click the formula and find working with formula. So, R1, C1 reference type. See, uh, tick, I tick here. So, please untick. Okay, so, uh, we click the OK. So, what happened? See, okay, the label become A, B, C. Because... Uh, if you want to read uh, the Excel, you need to read from the A1, B1. So, very easy. If the label in the 1, 2, 3, like, like uh, before, so it makes you more uh, confused which which column that you want to uh, use that data, you want to process data. So, 1, 2, 3. So, one column or one row. Uh, so, uh, to make you not confused about uh, about the data level so you need to change it in this for format okay guys clear okay guys so uh so next i want to teach you about about how how we want to copy data from microsoft word so here i have the one sample here okay this is the sample that i want to copy it all the sample, all the data, we want to copy it into the uh, SL. So, very easy, guys. You can uh, click here, Control A. Okay, select all. Or, you see the, this one. Okay, yang, yang macam salib ni kan. You just click. Okay, so, uh, the function of this one, uh, uh, it will select all the data. And then, you click uh, right. Okay, you click right and then you click copy or you can use the control C for the copy and go uh, back to the Excel file. Okay, go back to the Excel file. So, you just click here and then you just click uh, paste this one. See? Okay, ataupun you can use control C, control V. That is how we copy uh, data from the Microsoft Word into Microsoft Excel. Okay, so see, so right now I have the 40 data that I have been copied from the words into the Excel. Okay, guys. So, to this one, I highlight, right? So, to unhighlight un this one, so you just click je kat mana Excel. So, dia akan unhighlight. Uh, unhighlightkan dia. Okay guys, tadi saya dah ajar macam nak open new save belum? Kejap lagi saya akan ajar. Okay, next saya nak ajar, saya dah ajar uh, how to copy, cut and paste. And next is how we can format our cell. Okay, so as you can see in here, you nampak tak? Order date ni, dia jadi macam ni. Ha, kenapa eh? Ha, sebenarnya, untuk awak nak bagi dia nampak benda ni, so, very easy guys. You just pergi dekat A ni. Column A. You nampak tak yang hitam ni? Yang macam salib hitam ni. You click dua kali. Ha, see? Baru nampak. Kenapa dia jadi macam tu? Sebabnya dia panjang. Kotak sel ni kecil. So, dia akan jadi macam tu lah. Hashtag, 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 hashtag. So, jangan nanti kata, oh what happened to my uh, my data dia ada hashtag, hashtag. Saya masukkan tarikh no. Okay. Uh, so, that is how uh, to see the long words. The long sentence in our cell. Okay guys. Next, saya nak ajar awak macam mana kita nak samakan uh, 
Macam ni kan macam ni besar ni kecil ni kecil kan Terus kan saya nak ajar awak macam ni kita nak samakan Dia punya orang kata apa The width dan juga uh, height uh, Untuk semua sel-sel ni Okay bagi dia sama so very easy So saya control Z balik Jadi macam ni right So you nampak tak kat ujung ni Okay kat atas number one ni Okay kat bawah ni kita boleh besarkan kita punya Uh, view of Excel eh So saya besarkan Takut orang tak nampak Okay kat atas ni Kita nampak yang ni kan Sebelah uh, B side A Kat ni Atas satu ni You just click here Okay ini adalah Untuk uh, Highlight all the Workbook All the workbook Okay this one We call it as the Workbook Okay So next You pergi je kat sini Mana-mana je You pergi kat sini You click Jangan lepas eh Jangan lepaskan You tarik je Nak besar mana Okay nampak Semua akan ikut bersama All the cell will follow With the same width Okay This one If you want to uh, To make The width Of the all cells Become same Okay So you can use the column here You can use this one Okay This is width Lebar kalau you nak bagikan dia height Sama juga So senang saja Tekan balik yang ni Kalau height kita pergi kat mana Kita akan pergi dekat This one row Okay remember this one we call it as a row This one we call it as the column Okay So just click here Okay Click here Jangan lepas Tarik je bersama mana awak nak Ah si Unhighlight back Eh hey, si Uh, so dah cantik dah Dia punya kelebaran Dia punya ni Okay kalau you nak tengok Kalau you tak cair si Okay dia punya width kat sini adalah 13 This one also 13 Okay so this This is how we can make all the cell In the same uh, width and height uh, Ada student saya Ada student saya tanya Miss saya tak nak lah macam ni macam Uh, ini kan kecil je Ini kan macam ni Macam tak cantik je Miss besar-besar ni uh, Boleh tak saya nak Adjust Ikut-ikut saya So Up to you This is your workbook Okay Okay so next Kalau you tengok uh, Kalau you tengok dekat sini Dia punya ni ke bawah Okay Dia punya semua uh, Dalam ni kita panggil dia data Semua data ni ke bawah Tak cantik lah Miss Saya nak macam dia tengah Okay. Uh, so macam mana nak buat Sama juga Okay you click here Okay select all And then Ni you use this one Middle align nak align kan dia Whether you nak middle align Whether you nak bottom align Or top align So I want to use the middle align So saya nak make it center So I click here So and I want to center All the data inside the cell So I click here See Ah Okay So pretty Okay So next Okay uh, Tadi tu saya buat text alignment Okay next uh, I want to show you how we want to change font Okay Inside uh, Excel So very easy Okay So Highlight this one Okay you want highlight this one Or you just use this one Okay if you click this one In here uh, It will highlight all the row Okay Until the end Until Z row Okay Same as with this one Okay So you want to change uh, The font uh, For the row 1 Okay So you want to change it Into the uh, Font For example Arial Or what What is it Arial Okay You want to change it Into the Arial Uh, font So next You want to Make it uh, Bold Okay Or you want to Make it italic Okay Up to you uh, So that is how We change the font And the size of font If you want to Color this uh, This text Okay If you want to Color this row For the each Each cell You just use this one Okay Fill color For example You want to Use this one Or maybe you want to This one Okay See Nice right So uh, Next I want to uh, 
teach you how we want to make the border for this this cell okay so very easy you just highlight je semua ni okay highlight je sampai lah 40 okay dah nampak okay so pergi dekat border ni okay click this one all border Okay, dah dapat dah. So, itu caralah macam mana kita nak uh, colorkan sel kita. Macam mana kita nak, contohnya kalau awak nak tukar color, tukar color this, this cell, this uh, data kepada color merah. Ha, klik je macam ni. Ni contoh. Okay, tu cara dia. Okay, uh, they have uh, one student ask me, Miss, uh, macam ni saya nak tarikkan benda ni ke sana. Macam ni Miss, macam ni. Ah, so very easy guys. So tak nak pening-peningkan kepala. Kalau you padam semua, you copy balik benda yang sama, menyusahkan. So, klik ni. Okay, and highlight. Okay, highlight sampailah ke row 40. Okay, and then you click kanan, you click uh, right. Okay. You click right, click kanan and you click card. And then you can paste at any cells you want. So I want paste in here. So click this one and I click paste. So see what happened? Uh, so ada ruang kat tepi ni. Betul tak? Okay. Nampak? Boleh? So very easy guys. Very easy. Okay. Uh, next I want to teach you how to make a number in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 without uh, type it one by one. Ah, so it, it just like immediate. Okay, nampak tak number saya ni color uh, saya punya font, calibri and so on. So saya nak kopikan format yang ini. Saya nak kopikan format yang ini. Macam ni saya buat. You click sini. You nampak tak salib yang hitam tu? Okay, you click tarik je ke tepi. So eh miss order date me kenapa ni miss? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, so you just type number. Okay, automatic the, apa? The format will become the same. Okay, the format. Nampak? Nampak? It will, it will. Tadi kalau kat sini, calibri. So, nampak? Ha, ni cara dia lah. So, I want to make it uh, the border. So, click here. Okay. So, now saya nak tunjukkan macam mana kita nak buat nombor tanpa awak type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 1, 1 macam ni. Okay, satu, tekan bawah dua. Lambat guys, lambat. Okay, kalau nak padan, tekan, tekan delete. Okay. So, macam nak buat? You buat macam ni dulu. You letak satu. Lepas tu, letak dua. Okay, tengok apa saya nak buat. You highlight dua ni. Nampak? Okay, lagi sekali saya buat highlight dua ni. And then, you nampak tak salib tepi ni. Okay, nampak tak? T hitam ni, T hitam. Okay, you click here and then you drag it until the end of the table. And then you lepaskan. Nampak tak? You 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9 tanpa saya type sendiri nombor-nombor itu. Okay? Ah, very easy. Lagi sekali saya ajar. Okay, kita buat uh, saya ulang tayang lagi sekali. Senang saja. You letak nombor satu. You put number one inside the cells and then number two you just need two number only. Okay. And then you highlight it. Both of it you highlight. And then you go to the end of this table. You see the small T right? The black T here. You click here. Okay. And then you drag it until the end of the table. And then you Lepaskan. So, we have 39. 39 day data. Next, saya nak ajar awak macam mana kita nak guna merge. Okay, kita nak merge. Contoh, uh, saya buat kat sini. Summary report for Tini Supermarket. Tini Mall, maybe. Okay, saya type dekat satu saja kan. So, macam mana saya nak saya nak merge-kan summary report ni ke dalam semua uh, row ni. Senang saja. You highlight je. 
You highlight, you tarik kat mana you nak merge Okay, sampai sini And then you click here Click here, merge Okay, nampak tak? Okay, nampak kalau sebelum ni Dia ada garis-garis ni kan? Ah, so, saya tak nak ada garis-garis tu Saya highlight je And then saya tekan merge Ah, dan dah siap Okay Very easy Next, saya nak ajak awak word wrap Macam mana kan kita nak Macam mana kita nak wrap text Tanpa ubah Kelebaran uh, Kelebaran Untuk Untuk kolam ni Contohnya kita ada Ada orang kata Perkataan, contohnya saya nak ambil kat sini Selalu nama Malaysia kan panjang-panjang kan Okay Contohnya saya buat Nama saya kan panjang Okay, bila saya klik, dia jadi macam ni So, kalau saya klik kat sini Dia jadi besar Sekarang saya tak nak ganggu saya punya uh, Width ni saya nak sama So, macam ni saya buat Saya tekan Ctrl Z balik Okay, saya tekan Ctrl Z balik Dia jadi macam ni So, you click here Okay, you click this one Wrap text ha, So, dah nampak Nampak tak? Okay, Karnisa Binti tak nampak kan Abdul Kadir tu Okay, you besarkan sikit Tak nampak lagi, boleh besarkan lagi Ah, sampai lagi nampak, see Bau na, nampak Boleh, itu kegunaan untuk wrap text Ini saya dah ajar merge Saya dah ajar wrap text Okay, saya dah ajar buat nombor ni. Tarik je. Okay. Okay, lagi satu contoh. Awak nak copy semua ni. Okay, contohnya detail dia samalah. You nak copy uh, detail data dekat row ni ke row lagi satu. Senang je. You highlight this row. You highlight this row. And then you drag your cursor until the end of this row. See? And you see the the black key, right? Okay, you click, you drag it into the next row. Nampak tak? Uh, that is how we want to copy the same data into the another row. Okay guys, so part one is done. I have been teach you about how to open, how to create a new workbook, a new sheet, spreadsheet or uh, how to copy, cut and paste from another text file and how to format our cell. Okay, so next is part 2. So, part 2, I will teach you customizing column with row height auto format. So, this one, I'm done. Okay, dah buat dah tadi sebenarnya dekat part 1. So, now I want to teach you how to use the formula and function uh, for the arithmetic as special. We want to process our data for, uh, we want to sum, average, max and mean. Okay, so let's go to... Um, to our Excel workbook Okay Okay guys So Saya nak uh, Ctrl Z balik Kepada data yang asal So senang saja Saya tekan Ctrl Z Okay Saya nak ubah Kepada Jones Okay So now I want to teach you How to do a calculation How we want to process this data Okay, how we want to process the data or how we want to calculate this data. Okay, using the arithmetic calculation. So, now I want uh, to calculate the total, the total spending for each person. Okay, as you can see, we have a unit. So, uh, this John, okay. John by the pencil Okay uh, 95 unit And each pencil is cost 1.99 dollar So now saya nak buat calculation Berapa yang John dah bayar dekat Tini Mall ini Untuk beli pencil ni Sebanyak 95 unit So saya tambah kat sini Okay Kalau you nak buat format macam biasa Click here and then go to the end of these cells and then copy here so edit the word inside them for example total 
total total okay so now i want to uh, calculate 1.99 multiply with 99 so macam mana kita nak buat benda tu so ada orang tanya kat saya masa kelas-kelas yang lepas miss kita kena guna calculator lah kita, kita kena kira satu-satu miss kalau awak buat macam tu baik awak guna manual je tak perlu pun awak nak guna spreadsheet ni so why we use this uh, as cells because it can is our work it can make our work more easier and more faster so very easy so jom saya ajar awak macam mana kita nak buat so click this text box okay click this cell not text box eh click uh, this cell okay and then you go in here so okay this one is fx insert the function okay kat sinilah awak letak for formula okay kat sini awak letak formula dia so and here you click okay dah nampak tak kesel tu you buat sama dengan okay you buat sama dengan so sekarang kita nak buat darab antara unit cost darab unit okay so klik kat sini Okay, nampak dia jadi H4 H maksudnya kolom Bacaan dia kat sini H Dekat row 4 nah, Ni gunaan dia H4 So, kita tahu ni Lepas tu darab Nak darab Dalam uh, version Excel Darab dia kena gunakan apa? Kena gunakan Star This one Okay And then bawa cursor tu Lagi Ke unit pula Click here Okay, sekarang dia berada dekat G4. Nampak? So, and then you just hit enter. So, jumlah dia total is 199.05. Okay, 189.05. So, next we want to calculate this row pula. So, kena buat satu-satu ke? Dah lah data banyak. Data sampai 39. Takkan kita nak buat satu-satu klik-klik-klik Tak payah Okay, senang saja. You click here As usual Go to the end of this cells Nampak tak? This black T Okay, you click And then you drag Until the end Okay, see? Dia dah automatic Kirakan untuk awak It's a magic Tada, Okay, dah dapat dah Nampak tak? It can save our uh, our time Make uh, our work more easier Tak payahlah nak pergi tekan calculator Kira satu-satu-satu Okay, dan boleh jadi Human error Akan berlaku human human error So, kita dah ada ni, kita guna Okay So, dah siap Nampak, okay Terus kita buat border hmm. Okay, now Nampak tak? Macam tak cantik kan? Ada yang dua decimal point, ada yang satu. So, macam ni kita nak buat. Highlight jar. Okay, highlight semua ni. And then you pergi sini. Okay, yang ni untuk decrease decimal. Yang ni untuk increase the decimal. So, sekarang kita nak decrease ke increase? So, kita nak increasekan decimal kita kepada Okay, kepada sekarang semua jadi tiga kan? Sebab apa jadi tiga? Sebab dalam ni tadi dua. So, kita kena dipiskan balik. Ah, nampak? So, sekarang semua dah two decimal point. Okay, now kita dah ada total untuk setiap spending of each person. So, sekarang kita nak buat kira the grand total. Okay? Ataupun kita boleh kira dia punya uh, keuntungan. The grand total that Tini Mall dapat. Okay, contoh ni ini untuk bulanan lah. Bulan ke? Setahun lah. Itulah ikut lah. Okay, contohnya saya klik kat sini. And saya nak buat dia nama dia grand total. Grand total. Total semua lah. Okay, so macam ni nak dapatkan grand total ni. Of course, we need to submission of all the total. So, macam ni kita nak buat submission semua ni. Okay. First, you click this cell. Okay, lepas you click this, this cell, you boleh klik dekat ni. 
Okay, jangan lupa tekan sama dengan dulu. Kalau tak tekan sama dengan, dia akan jadi word. Tengok eh. Nampak? Dia akan jadi word. Kita tak nak. So, kalau you nak buat pengiraan, jangan lupa tekan equal. Equal symbol. So, macam nak buat. Okay, dekat dalam Excel dia ada bagi awak auto uh, formula. So, you just type sum. Okay, you click here. Okay, sum. Klik dua kali. Biar keluar macam ni. So, apa yang awak kena buat? Awak kena klik sini. Okay, awak kena klik sini sampai lah habis. You drag your cursor until the end of the the end, the end of the column. Okay, nampak? I4 until I42. Okay. Okay, and then close the bracket. And then hit enter. See? Automatic. Calculate. The grand total. Okay. Untuk semua total-total customer dia dah beli. Okay. Contoh tu untuk bu untuk setahun ke. ah Macam tu. Okay. Dan kita boleh juga buat profit kat sini. Bukan nama dia sebagai profit pun tak ada masak. Alah. So you nak make it border pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Grand total. 1753650. Okay, so saya letak form ni adalah dolar lah. Sebab dia kan daripada overseas so dolar. Okay, nampak tak? Kan? Okay, saya kecil kan? So, grand total saya, saya hitamkan ser... apa? Oh, wow. Okay, 17,536 15 dolar. Okay. Boleh. So next saya nak ajar awak macam ni nak cari maksimum dengan minimum. Contohnya kalau Tini Mall punya owner ni dia nak cari siapa yang spending paling tinggi dekat dia punya mall. Okay. Uh, maksudnya maksimum yang orang beli dia punya produk. Dan juga minimum. Okay. Very easy. So saya type kat sini. Saya nak buat maksimum. Maksimum Ini saya punya label lah Saya highlightkan dia Saya nak Make it bolder So nak kira maksimum Pergi dekat mana-mana cell Yang kosong ni Klik Lepas tu apa kita kena buat Kita pergi klik kat sini We hit the equal symbol And then uh, We type max ha, Here Max Klik dua kali Dia keluar macam ni So nak tahu maksimum Kita nak kena pergi kat mana Kita akan pergi dekat sini Okay. Mana yang paling tinggi spending untuk dia punya mall. Okay. Sampai the end of the column and then don't uh, forget to to close the bracket and then hit enter. So see. Paling tinggi adalah 1619. So tengok betul tak? Okay, betul. So, kalau kita check balik, kalau kita tak percaya kan. Ha, ini paling tinggi. Betul lah. Okay, buat. Okay, maximum. Kalau minimum pun sama juga. Okay, type minimum. Highlight, control B for the ball. Okay. So, sama juga. Klik je dekat kosong ni. Klik sama dengan. Okay, type uh, min. Okay, click here. And then drag sini ke sini. Okay. Okay. And then close the bracket and hit the enter. So yang palingnya adalah sembilan ringgit. Eh sembilan ringgit. Sembilan point zero three dollar. Ah betul lah ni yang paling sikit. Okay. Sebab dia beli tujuh je. Yang harga one twenty nine dollar. Nampak tak? Ni maksimum minimum. Okay. So next saya nak ajar awak cari average. Okay average. Sama juga. Klik dekat cell ni. Okay. Blank cell. Okay. Click here. Put the equal symbol and then you tap average. So click here. Okay. And then 
you click in here and then you just right here ok and then lepaskan tutup balik kurungan tekan enter so ini average dia ok ini average nampak tak ok boleh nampak Okey, lagi satu cara selain awak nak gunakan auto, boleh juga cara menggunakan kita masukkan formula untuk cari average. Okey, saya letak kat sini. Average using using our own formula. Formula. Okey. Wrap text kan dia. Okay. So uh, macam ni kita nak kira average using our own formula So nak cari average The formula is total divided by Bilangan data yang ada So bilangan yang kita ada adalah 39 So total yang kita dah cari adalah this one Grand total So macam mana nak buat formula kita sini Klik dekat sini Klik dekat sini So klik sama dengan Okay Put uh, the equal symbol and then do uh, put the open the bracket. So you go here, you click this one, and then divide. Divide kena guna slash eh. Bapa data dia tiga puluh sembilan. Boleh juga nak buat macam ni. Dia tekan enter. So dia dapat empat empat sembilan enam empat betul. So banyak sangat lah miss. So ni lah guna ni yang saya ajar tadi Kita decreasekan dia punya ni Kepada dua decimal Nampak? Sama kan? Sama kan? Ha, macam tu pun boleh Okay kadang-kadang ada formula yang Ada formula yang tidak diberi oleh sel Okay So macam ni tadi Untuk buat multiply ni Kita kena buat buat sendiri nampak? Ha dia tak ada Multiply multiply ni ha, Okay so itu cara dia Macam mana nak masukkan formula dekat sini apa-apa formula, what kind of formula that you want uh, that you want to use, you just put in here. Okay. And please remember before you want to put the formula, please uh, put this one. Okay. Equal symbol first. Okay. Next saya nak ajar awak macam mana nak kira count. So count yang saya nak buat ni contohnya adalah untuk item. Okay. Setiap orang dia akan pilih dia punya item right. Okay. So saya nak tahu berapa orang yang beli pensel. Okey, berapa orang yang beli pensel? Bukan berapa orang, bukan berapa jumlah pensel yang telah dibeli eh. Berapa orang item ni, berapa orang yang pilih pensel. So, saya nak tahu. So, macam mana saya nak buat benda ni? So, first saya contohnya saya nak cari count. Count for pencil. Okey. So, saya type sini pencil. Okay, now saya nak letakkan dia punya jumlah count tu kat sini. Okay, klik uh, the blank cell ni. So, we go here. Don't forget put this one. Okay, so type count if. Okay, this one. Ha, click. Count if, uh, as you can see dia bagi formula kat sini arrange dengan criteria. So, criteria kita sekarang kita nak cari pencil. Okay, bilangan pencil yang telah dibeli oleh setiap orang. Okay, uh, so senang saja. first range, range ni macam biasa lah, you click here and then you drag until the end of this, until the end of this uh, table and then comma criteria, so you, you kena buat sama eh, pencil ni ejaan dia P besar, so kena ikut kotak nanti dia akan jadi sah, salah, okay tekan Double quotation, tutup ni So hit the enter So apa jadi? So 12 Ok kalau awak tak cakap awak kira pencil ada berapa Ada 12 dalam ni Saya dah kira dah Ok uh, So tu cara untuk buat count Habis miss kalau saya nak kira pencil ni Berapa yang telah terjual dekat kedai tu Macam mana? So uh, Minggu depan saya akan ajar macam mana So minggu ni saya ajar untuk yang ini sahaja Maximum, minimum, average, average yang awak on formula Count for pencil Okay So dah boleh nampak eh macam nak buat So that's all for this week lab 
So next week you have the second lab for the Microsoft Excel. So guys, uh, don't forget uh, click your attendance at uh, you future. And then uh, don't forget to do uh, uh, the tutorial for the lab tutorial that I, that I will give it into the uh, GCI Google Classroom. So please do that exercise and submit it in GCR also. So guys, if you have any question, please ask me. If you can't understand about the SL, please ask me in the telegram so uh that's all for today assalamualaikum